This episode, we talk about Christmas in the summer, a review of Epic, and the down low on the dollar store. This is the Living Young and Free Show, giving the 25 and under crowd tips, tricks, and hacks to get the most out of your money. Hi, I'm Cheryl, and welcome to episode 19. This episode, we're hitting you with the welcoming trifecta. We'd like to welcome Young and Free St. Louis, powered by Vantage Credit Union, Young and Free Ontario, powered by Libro Financial Group and United Communities Credit Union, and we'd like to welcome our 2010 Young and Free Mississippi spokesperson, Sarah Dale. For her inaugural segment, we asked Sarah Dale to show us how thinking about Christmas now can save your money and your sanity come December. I know what you're thinking. It is way too hot and way too early to even be thinking about Christmas. After all, Christmas tis the season to be broke, stressed, rushed. Well, fear not, I'm here to reclaim your joyful Christmas with an article I found on thesimpledollar.com. It talks about five reasons why you should think about Christmas now in order to make it so much more enjoyable when the time actually comes. First of all, kill off any unwanted gift exchanges. Send out an email now or a Facebook message. Suggest doing something like Secret Santa so you only have to buy one gift instead of 10 million. And if you still want to exchange gifts with everyone, just suggest a spending cap with a number you're comfortable at. Tip number two, put the important people on your radar now. Make a list of the people you know you're going to buy gifts for. Your mom, your dad, your cat, your sister, and then pay attention to them closely for the coming months. When you hear them say something that they may want or they make a comment about something they like, write it down. This is the part where we save money. Start bargain shopping. When you at least have an idea about what you want to get them, you can start looking online and stores for sales. It's not as hard as it sounds. There's a website called Feed Sifter. You can type in what you want and it'll search through internet feeds that have topics and bargains about what you're searching for. So easy. And then you can put your Feed Sifter into something called Feed Mailer and it'll email it right to you. And then you just sit and wait and the bargain comes straight to your mailbox. Tip number four. If you're going to be making homemade gifts, make sure you start ahead of time. Pull out the paintbrush and canvas or the needles and yarn and get started so you won't feel pressured right before Christmas. Tip number five. Make it easy on people who are shopping for you by coming up with a list of gifts that you'd really like. This way Aunt Marge won't give you socks again because you told her, oh, anything will be fine. You're not supposed to tell lies. With that being said, I wish you a merry not Christmas and a happy this year. Back to you, Cheryl. A very merry on Christmas to you and you. Up next we have Josh, who's going to give us a review of the new cable online streaming TV video mashup, Epix. First, I would like for everyone to raise your hand if you love movies. I can't see your hand. You can put it down now. There's a new movie service out there called Epix. It's got a really cool concept behind it. It wants to combine internet streaming for websites like Hulu and YouTube with a cable subscription service, kind of like an HBO channel or Showtime. The movies come from MGM, Lionsgate, and Paramount Pictures, some of the three biggest names in entertainment. The premise is very cool, to have both online streaming and a TV channel to watch movies on. But I don't think it can stand up to the other giants that exist already. To begin, Epix doesn't have an upfront price. You have to contact your cable provider to figure out how much it will cost for you to get this service, which may be a good or bad thing depending on how much your cable service offers it for. They are going to be some of the first to get movies like G.I. Joe and Star Trek. There were a couple of other blockbuster titles headlining their website. But I tried several different movie searches, and instead it would just recommend a 1985 flick that had something to do with Madonna several times over. Maybe she gets bitten by a radioactive spider. Who knows? I feel like Generation Y, that's me and probably you, is moving away from standard cable schedules. You know, we have TiVo and DVRs to skip ahead of that, and for those who have given up on cable altogether, we watch our movies and TV online. With networks like USA and ABC now featuring episodes on their websites, I feel like Epix is not providing enough that will make people want to pay additional for it, whatever that amount may be. If you are interested in Epix, then check them out at epixhd.com. And if your cable provider offers it, then look into it and see if it's right for you. But I think this member of Generation Y will stick with Netflix. For Canadians, check out zip.ca. For everyone else, 
I recommend we all sign petitions to get Hulu signed over to Canada. If you love movies, give me a fist bump. Fist bump! Fist bump! Okay, one, yes, Hulu in Canada, I will sign that petition. And two, I would actually see a movie with Madonna getting bitten by a radioactive spider. I think that that should be pitched to some muckety mucks somewhere because I would sign that, I would sign up. I would buy advance tickets right now. Last up, we have Alex who's going to give us the down low on the dollar store with when to go cheap and when not cheap out. Thanks, Cheryl. Alex Oliver here with Young and Free Tennessee. We are at the Dollar Tree in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we're about to go inside and tell you what's worth saving some dollars on and what is worth the money, what you don't need to spend the dollar on and actually spend a few extra dollars so you're not wasting more money in the long run. So follow me. We're going to go pick through a few items and see what you can save money on. Candy. That's one thing that you definitely should save a few dollars on. You're going to find the same brands and the same quality at the dollar store. Really, people, there's not that much difference in a Starbucks coffee mug and a Dollar Tree coffee mug. These are the same quality name brand, Rubbermaid, that you'll find at, you know, any other big name brand store. Well, Cheryl, we just got kicked out of the Dollar Tree. So, this is the look of sadness. But we're passing by tons of deals. You've got Cokes. You've got my pretzels. You've got all types of good stuff. All right, Cheryl, so there you have it. We're having a little bit of trouble getting inside and out of the dollar stores with the camera, but we still showed you a few of the great deals that you can make when you think wisely and you make sure that you're spending money on the right types of things. You've got all the things that you can buy on the cheap, uh, anything with cheap plastic or just basic household items, you can probably find for just a dollar at the dollar store as opposed to going to any of the other major brands and spending unnecessary amounts of money. Greeting cards, canned vegetables, wrapping paper, party decorations, shampoo and soap, foam cups, Wax paper, M&M's, dog treats, paper towels. One other thing that I wanted to mention is outdoor clothing. I'm a big snowboarder and wakeboarder, and so to me, it's a big deal to spend money on quality purchases and quality clothing. So when you're in the extreme temperatures, the really hot heat in the wakeboarding season, or the really cold weather and the snow, you want to make sure you've got the right clothing and the right gear that's going to perform better in those kinds of extremes. Back to you, Cheryl. Thanks, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. YoungFreeTennessee.com. Thanks, Alex. Those are some great tips. And that's our show. If you have any feedback or ideas for upcoming episodes, feel free to comment below or email me at livingyoungandfree at gmail.com. Join us next time for more great tips, tricks, and hacks on how to make the most of your money. Young and Free is a credit union movement that gives young people a voice, a head start, and useful information.